In this part, I want to cover the subject of choroidal detachment. Choroidal detachment usually appears as a smooth dome-shaped area. You can follow it here, continuous with the choroid on contact with the wall. So just notice here, this is the normal area, but here it becomes detached with clear fluid underneath. In the A vector applied, you can see that the choroid, you can get it as double humped here, and this is the area of clear fluid underneath the choroid. So this is the case where we have this thick membrane, and if you come here, it will be continuous with the wall. With transparent fluid below it, it's a serous choroidal detachment. Sometimes you can see a vessel, one of the vortex veins, crossing this subchoroidal area. You can notice here this thick membrane becoming continuous here with the walls. If you wonder what is this, these are an artifact, a reflection indicating the presence of an intraocular lens here. Sometimes we have a huge choroid detached so that they touch each other from one side and the opposite side. This is a serious condition and need to be dealt with surgically. And in this example, we get a kissing choroid from this side and that side. And after interference, the two sides became separated. And after a while, the choroidal detachment disappeared totally. In this example, we have a choroidal detachment, but you notice under this, the detached choroid, we can see reflections. This is a hemorrhagic choroidal detachment. Another example with hemorrhagic choroidal detachment. This is a case post-operative with cataract and glaucoma surgery. After a week, same patient, you notice here some translucent area inside the choroidal detachment. It is a sort of hemolysis. Now, two weeks after, you can see most of the choroid detachment has disappeared. We still have some small space between the choroid and the sclera. Now, this is after three weeks, total absorption of this hemorrhagic choroidal detachment. 
This is another example we, where we have both choroidal detachment and retinal detachment, as you're going to see in this video. The only way to say this, that this is a retina is to get this membrane and find it attached to the center of the disc. You can see that the vitreous got some floating dots. And most probably this is some vitreous hemorrhage. So to differentiate between retinal detachment and choroid detachment, retinal detachment you will follow the membrane to the optic disc, while you can see here the shape of the choroidal detachment away from the disc. 